A 29-year-old woman has returned from her honeymoon in the Maldives and complains of intermittent diarrhea, abdominal bloating, and severe flatulence. She tells you she has been off her food since returning from holiday and has lost 2 kg in weight. Examination is unremarkable apart from mild abdominal distension. And the investigation is showing hemoglobin, white cell count, platelets, sodium, all of them are normal. Potassium is mildly reduced, creatinine is normal, C-reactive protein is elevated. Which of the following is the most appropriate treatment? Loperamide, metronidazole, mesalamine, ofloxacin, or the prednisolone. So if we look at the investigation here, the C-reactive protein is elevated, indicating the ongoing infection. And potassium level is reduced here, which can be explained with the help of diarrhea. So if we look at the scenario here, this patient has presented with the features of malabsorption. And the features of malabsorption are diarrhea, statoria, and the weight loss. So diarrhea, statoria, and the weight loss. And in some cases, we can also get the abdominal bloating. And she also has the history of returning from a holiday. This indicates the long incubation period. And in case of infective diarrhea, along with the long incubation period, we have the two differential diagnoses. Number one is the giardiasis, and number two is the amoebiasis. So let's discuss further regarding these two differential. So both giardiasis and amoebiasis, both of them are the protozoal disease. And both of them are predominantly seen in the Indian subcontinent. And the choice of treatment is same in both cases. Both of them will be treated with the anti drugs like the metronidazole. So how can we differentiate between the two? And both of them will come up with the prolonged incubation period. So prolonged incubation period plus non-bloody diarrhea and also the features of malabsorption. The diagnosis is the giardiasis. Organism is the giardia lamblia. Choice of treatment, metronidazole or the tinidazole, seven days course. Prolonged incubation period plus bloody diarrhea. The diagnosis is the amoebiosis. Organism is the entamoebia histolytica. So if the patient comes up with the non-bloody diarrhea with features of malabsorption, diagnosis would be giardiasis. If the patient comes with the features of bloody diarrhea, the diagnosis would be amoebiosis. And our next topic would be how can we differentiate the organism causing the diarrhea based on their incubation period. So if the incubation period is very short, one to six hours, we can have two organisms. Number one, Staph aureus. Number two, Bacillus cereus. If the duration is one day, and more specifically, 12 to 48 hours, then Salmonella and the E. coli. If the duration is 2 to 3 days, more specifically 48 to 72 hours, Shigella and the Campylobacter, and greater than 7 days, indicating long incubation period, to differential diagnosis, the giardiasis, or the amoebiosis. The incubation period would be very short in case of step aureus due to the preformed toxin. It's only 1 to 6 hours, and the predominantly presenting features would be the vomiting not the diarrhea the vomiting is the predominant presenting symptoms in case of step aureus and in the question they often give the classical description of either taking the cream and dairy products or the classical buffet display food and the next differential diagnosis with the short incubation period one to six hours is the bacillus serious and in case of bacillus serious this predominantly occurs in case of preheated fried rice so they will give the classical history of either taking the Chinese food or the Chinese restaurant. And the patient might have the predominant vomiting or the vomiting and the diarrhea may be both present in case of bacillus cereus. And in case of Clostridium zizoni, the incubation period would be 48 to 72 hours, 2 to 3 days. And this is associated with taking either poultry or dairy products and also the contaminated meat. And in the exam, they will give the classical history of the wedding meal because wedding meal consists of meat, poultry, or the dairy product. So the wedding meal is associated with the Clostridium zizoni. The buffet display food made up of milk product 
is associated with the staph aureus. So Campylobacter sezoni infection, they give the classical history of the wedding meal containing contaminated meat or dairy products and often the patient present with hypotension, tachycardia and this uh, Campylobacter sezoni, this is associated with some sort of renal impairment. So there will be elevated urea and elevated creatinine level. Diagnosis is the Campylobacter infection. Choice of treatment is the macrolid and among the macrolids, azithromycin is preferred. And both salmonellosis and the shigellosis, both of them are associated with the bloody diarrhea. And if we look at the incubation period, in case of salmonella, incubation period is one day. In case of shigella, incubation period is two to three days. So features of bloody diarrhea, incubation period one day. The most likely diagnosis is the salmonellosis. And salmonella infection is classically seen in case of nursing home among the old age group geriatric patient. And shigellosis often occurs in the child daycare. And the patient also comes up with the features of bloody diarrhea, abdominal pain, and the incubation period would be two to three days. And the salmonella organism, this is associated with the enteric fever. So the features of enteric fever might also be present in case of salmonella infection. Rotavirus is the commonest cause of gastroenteritis in case of children. And norovirus is the commonest cause of gastroenteritis in the adult age group. And norovirus usually comes in the epidemic form and this is usually seen in a closed environment like either cruise ship or in a closed building and they give the classical description of projectile vomiting and explosive diarrhea. So the projectile vomiting, explosive diarrhea occurring in an epidemic form in a closed environment in case of adult, the most likely diagnosis is the norovirus infection unless otherwise proved.